continuing with texture painting, um, I'm going to unwrap the shirt of the character. First what I'm going to do is mark seams. Um, I can select uh, an edge with Alt right mouse button and then press um, Control E to mark a seam. And then once that's done I can hit U and unwrap the, the mesh. And then what I'm going to do here is just show a way to get um, uh, uh, stripes on his shirt. <coughs> if I would have, <coughs> if I unwrapped this and took it straight into Photoshop, just the wire UV map, it'd be very hard to figure out where to put the stripes. So what I do is I use the map here to um, do a little texture painting on the 3D model itself, draw the stripes where I think they should go, and that gives me a guide when I take it into Photoshop to clean it up and do the final stripes. So I'm just giving it a plain white color so I can see the stripes. I think it's probably going to end up being <coughs> beige or brown, something like that. And here I'm just um, cleaning up the map, making sure all the um, all the places are covered with white that needs to be covered. Um, so now what I'm going to do is bring up a, um, a color palette kind of thing that I got off the web. If you go to uh, cooler.adobe.com, I think it's KU. L E R. They have got some wonderful color swatches, combinations. Um, this is a particular uh, uh, 70s color combinations that I I found, and um, since I'm trying to make it look like the 70s, I thought these colors were perfect. So now I'm just uh, sampling a color off of the palette there and um, drawing my stripes. These aren't the final stripes by any means. These are just a guide. And notice how the stripes are coming out on the UV map there uh, in the flat image. It would have been very difficult for me to figure out exactly where those stripes should have, have gone um, if I would have just taken the UV wires into Photoshop. So, and then I'm going to do the cuffs here, just trying to make it look 70s. I really like the whole concept of texture painting to get a sense of where the features of the material or the object should be. Um, to me it makes more sense than... and there's a quick render of just the temp stripes. But the texture painting just makes more sense to me to see it in Photoshop that way than it does to see just a bunch of wires in a UV map. That's hard for me, and I, I, you know, UV mapping is not something I've had any experience with prior to just a year or two ago, and it, it's just been very hard for me to kind of understand. And texture painting was kind of a good sh uh, shortcut to get me there, I think. Now I'm just uh, cleaning it up. 
making the lines uh, uh, crisper, making the colors uh, deeper, um, just doing the final color work here. couple things in Photoshop that I, I use a little, a couple of uh, shortcuts. One is um, if you're in uh, brush mode, if you push B to get into brush mode, and then if you press down the Alt key, that turns your cursor into the, into the eyedropper and you can uh, pick a color. Another one is if you're in brush mode, you can use the uh, bracket keys to quickly increase or decrease the size of the brush. You may already know all this, but uh, um, these are, are nice shortcuts that I, I use. Okay, now once I'm done with that, I save it off to a uh, target file, reload it into Blender, and give a quick render, and you can see that the stripes are a lot tighter now. And let me give you a quick render of what the final character looks like here. And there you go. Hope that helps.